Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today's video, we're just gonna hop right in because this is gonna take a while and it's probably gonna take me a few different videos to get through it all. What are we doing? We are going through my death pile. Um, I'm not sure how big the normal person's death pile is, but mine is pretty big. I'm embarrassed to show it to you, but I think this video needs to be done. Um, if you're not from the world of reselling, you're probably wondering, what's a death pile? A death pile is a pile of unlisted items that are intended for reselling and you just don't have them listed for one reason or another. My reason is because I, I go sourcing so much and it's so much coming in and not enough time or effort to list it onto Poshmark. So as you'll be seeing, there's a really massive pile of clothing in my bedroom that I'm hoping to get done. I'm actually hoping that this video will motivate me to get everything listed. It'll keep me accountable. Feel free to bug me on here or Instagram and tell me, hey, Valerie, how's that death pile coming along? Because I need it. I need a kick in the butt. My goal is to have everything listed by the end of the year. By the time 2020 comes around, I'm hoping for a clean slate and to take back my closet because my death pile is in my personal closet and it's kind of a pain in the butt and it's an eyesore. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pile, but I'm also gonna bring bins into the living room here with me where I film and we're gonna go through it because honestly, I don't think everything is actually worth listing. Um, I would say like 99% of the stuff that's in there is from the bins and sometimes when you're at the bins <laughs> you're either really tired and you're not thinking straight because when we go we like to stay for hours at a time. Some of this stuff goes way back to when I was spending like eight hours at a time at the bins so who knows what we're gonna find. I've honestly forgotten a lot of the stuff that's in there, which is bad, it's horrible. Don't be like me. <laughs> Don't be like old Bella Milk. Be like new Bella Milk who's improving her life. I'll bring the bins in here with me and I will go through everything like a haul video, except it's stuff that I've already sourced and most likely already hauled. So as I bring the totes into the living room, I'm going to go ahead and divide the clothing into piles. There will be a pile for garage sale for my sister. She has a big garage sale every year, so there'll be a pile for that. There will be a pile for stuff that I don't think will do good listed, but maybe somebody in my family would like it, so I'll go ahead and pull that stuff out for them. And then there will also be a pile for listing in my Poshmark closet. But within that pile, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of divide it up into what I think should go up first, like stuff that I think is gonna sell fast or for a lot of money. That stuff I'll go ahead and get up because it's the most motivating stuff to do because you want that money and <laughs> you want that sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate it into what I need to list first. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into my bedroom and I will show you my death pile. Alrighty, from this spot backwards, this is all Chad's clothing um, from here to right here is Poshmark stuff. This end stuff is Chad's winter stuff, but this right here is all Poshmark, or it's all for Poshmark. It's not listed yet. And let me show you the pile that's underneath. Okay, so I'm on the floor and there is this massive mound of clothing. It did start out as organized, but I went through my personal closet and kind of got rid of some stuff that I wasn't wearing. So all of this unfolded mess right here is from that. I should have taken the time to fold it, but here we are. It's a mound of, it's a mound of clothing. I did this to myself. I'm gonna go ahead and take off a layer and we're gonna look at the bins underneath. I honestly have forgotten how many bins are actually underneath here, but I do believe that they are more in order. Um, also, all of these clothing are washed. I wash everything after I do my hauls. I throw everything right in the washer right away to get it done and over with. And then it ends up in here. <laughs> oh, and this bag right here. I say this doesn't count. I mean, it's for selling on Poshmark for home goods. It's a blanket, but this doesn't count in my death pile. I don't know, there's no reasoning. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. So we're down pretty much to the bins. I mean like, <laughs> it's all on hangers and ready to go. It just didn't do it. Just do it, Valerie, just do it. Okay, 
So we're down to the bins. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab one and start with it. Okay, we are gonna take this giant bin into the living room and we're gonna go through it. And maybe this will be the only bin we do for today. Okay, we're back in the living room and sitting next to me, I have two trash bags. One is for garage sales and one is for family members. Maybe they might want some of this stuff. Um, and right on top is this big bag that I picked up. I think originally I was gonna sell this on Poshmark. It's just like a canvas um, laundry bag. I'm sure you've seen this in a haul, but I think I'm gonna keep it for helping me organize this stuff. Maybe after this whole process is done, I will um, list it <laughs> or maybe it'll end up in a death pile. <laughs> Oh, lordy. Okay, first thing in this bucket. Newer tag cabbie, extra large cardigan. And it's like this oatmeal colored cardigan. It's really, really cute. So I will be listing this. Next up, what are you? Some overalls. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and guess I picked these up for me. What brand are you? They're Arizona, size small. I do believe these ones had stains on them and they didn't fit me as well as I wanted them to. That's why they ended up in the death pile. These will go to my sister's garage sale. Um, next up are some bras. Sexy. Um, they are push-up bras. They are the bombshell size. It's a 38C. Um, so they're new with tags. These will go up on Poshmark. I believe I paid 50 cents for each of these at a garage sale. Next, this is from the bins. It's just a little Vera Bradley wallet. I mean, it is sellable, but am I like excited to sell this? I don't think I am. Maybe I will see if somebody in my family wants it. Maybe one of my nieces will think it's cute. I don't wanna keep stuff that I'm not excited to list because then this is gonna happen again. Okay, we need to hurry this up because this is a big bucket. Next, this was my first time finding this brand. It is Hobo. Um, it had some wear on it, but I think it'll still do all right. Um, it's just like a magnetic type of wallet. Um, yeah, that'll go up on Poshmark. I was excited to find that one. This one, I do believe, was from the bins. And it's the card holder. Actually, this might be kind of neat for business cards. Um, I don't know if that's too girly for Chad. I'll ask him. I'll set this one aside for Chad. And if not, this will just go to family. I think if you're first starting out, then yeah, all of the little things add up and it's good to have some stuff in your closet to build it up. But at this point, I'm, I've been doing it for about 14, no more than that, 16 months ish. I've been on Poshmark selling and my closet's pretty big and I don't, necessarily need any of the smaller stuff. I do believe Chad's mom gave this to me. I'm not sure for me or for reselling. I'm pretty sure she's okay with either. I took a picture in this and it was really, really, really cute. But I do think this will be for reselling because I'm not the girliest of people, <laughs> obviously. I also don't go to the gym. The sweatshirt's a lie. <laughs> Next. Where did I get you? Bins or garage sale? I think I got these at a garage sale. They are just a pair of Lululemon pants, so I think I paid a dollar for these. Um, these I'll go ahead and list. Lululemon. Well, no, I asked my sister if she wanted them, and she said no. I do remember that. So those will go on Poshmark. Um, I do think Lululemon is oversaturated, and only certain styles sell. I'm not sure about those ones. If the comps aren't the greatest, then I'll list it for low and do a quick sale. But pants are really easy to photograph and list. Um, next is a pair of Carhartt pants. I picked these up, I think, at the bins. I do sell Carhartt pretty well, so those will go up on Poshmark. Next are some Levi's 550s. Yeah, nothing too special about them. I picked them up for myself, but they didn't end up fitting me. They are a vintage size, I do believe. Or maybe I just gained some weight, not sure. But those will be for Poshmark. Again, I'll probably list them a little lower just for a fast flip. Next is this loft top. I do believe this is one that I got from Kaya. I ordered a dress from her and she sent me a bunch of goodies. And I do believe this is one of them. It's a loft, size small. The style is on point for the season. It's just this animal print sheer blouse. 
I will go ahead and list that one. I'll probably try and get that one up sooner since it is um, the fashion right now. Next is Hummingbird. I'm not sure where this is sold. If you know, feel free to comment down below. But it's a cute top. It kind of reminds me of Free People. Um, this, I don't know. I think I'm going to give this to my sister for her garage sale. I picked this up at the bins. I'm not sure on the brand. Maybe I will dig it out of the bag if anybody... If you think it's a good brand that I should be listing, let me know. I appreciate it. And then I'll pull it out of the bag. But for now, it'll go to my sister's garage sale. Um, next is this flip belt. It's for exercising. You, you can find these on Amazon. But I picked it up for me and I didn't like the way it fit. And I have the world's largest phone. It's the size of a TV. And it doesn't fit in here very well. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on Poshmark. Patagonia size 4 pants. Really cute um, army green pants. I don't think I can fit into these. If I could, I would. I found these at the bins, but I think people left them behind because of the condition of the knees. This one does have a hole and the other one is worn, but I kind of don't think people will mind that. I think that's the style right now, but we'll see. I mean, obviously I'll add it in the description and if you want it, you want it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next are a pair of the North Face shorts. I do believe I picked these up for me and I ended up not really liking them. So these will go in my Poshmark closet. I just smacked myself in the face. Um, they will probably be like I was telling you, I'll split it up into what I'm going to list first to stuff that's going to go later. That'll probably be later since we are in the colder months. Um, I am still selling, I guess, like tank tops and shorts and stuff, but not as much as like my sweaters and my jackets. So we will focus on that. Um, next are these Liz Claiborne like mom shorts. Again, I think these were just cleaned out of my personal closet. Those will be on Poshmark. Um, next is this Madewell, size small from the bins, just their basic v-neck shirt. Um, hmm. These, the comps on these just aren't that great anymore. I think I am gonna give this to my sister for a garage sale. This was just from the bins. People might think I'm crazy and they're like, really? Madewell? Eh. The comps on the t-shirts the is just not that great. So I will pass that one along. Um, these I picked up for myself. It was a little bit of a weird pickup for, my, for me. Um, but they are these vintage Union Bay shorts. They're like purple plaid. I thought they were cool, but I just didn't end up wearing them. I think somebody will like them. Vintage stuff like that, the weirder older styles do really good. These I picked up from I believe like a rummage sale. American Eagle Outfitters and they are the high rise jagging super stretch size 8. I do like that they are a lighter like acid wash gray so I think those will actually do pretty good so those will be like one of the first things I list from this bucket. Another pair of shorts these again came from my personal collection most of these shorts in here did but they're just a pair of Gap size 29 boyfriend shorts. Next are these seven, uh, seven for all mankind, Guinevere, size 28, dark wash, skinny jean. Wait, what size are you? I kind of like them. <laughs> this is why I have a death pile. Sell them, Valerie. Cute style. It's the season for them. We're going to sell them. We're going to get those listed. Next, another pair of shorts again from my collection. Go light, size small. I think these are like golfing shorts. I don't know. I don't golf. I don't golf. <laughs> I'm not a very sportsy kind of person if you couldn't tell. Oh, well how the heck did you end up in there? Um, here's my graduation tassel from college in my death pile. Holy smokes. Valerie. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Um, these are Eddie Bauer size 8. I actually love Eddie Bauer. It's one of my favorite brands to wear. And this used to be mine, but I don't go for them as often because of the pattern. I just like a basic plain short. I don't like to bring attention to myself with loud patterns. Um, next are BKE size 28. If it's like a size 28, most of this stuff I picked up for myself to try and it didn't end up fitting me well. But when you're at the bins and it's cheap, it's hard not to pick it up for yourself. Skinny jeans, good condition. Everything just needs steamed because it all got wrinkly sitting in these bins, even though I folded it. These I picked up for myself and they didn't fit. Another pair of mom shorts. 
These I picked up for myself, pair of Old Navy shorts. Um, I'm gonna pass these on to my sister's garage sale because I don't do the best with Old Navy and I can't imagine a pair of shorts doing any better than any of the other Old Navy stuff I have. So we will pass it on. Next is another pair of Carhartt shorts. I'm pretty sure these are men's. What size are you? We can, nope, somebody cut the tag out. We don't know, we'll have to measure them. They did fit me, but you know how guys have, <laughs> they need more room in the front. That's what happened when I wore them. There was too much room in the front. Um, so those will go on Poshmark and I'll just measure them. <laughs> oh, Lordy, you're gonna learn a whole bunch on my channel. I will tell you the difference between men and women's shorts. <laughs> Next, I picked this up for myself, but it's, I have really broad shoulders. I have very manly shoulders, so it didn't fit me exactly how I wanted. St. John's Bay, um, like a shorter raincoat trench type deal, and it did have the tie on it, so that's good. What are you? Oh, horny toad, size six. Striped pair of pants. These are cute. Uh, bootleg, I believe, or no, straight leg. Straight leg pant. Those are actually really cute. Those will be for Poshmark. Everything you see me throwing this way is Poshmark, in case I'm not saying it. What are you? Columbia, size small. Um, I actually kind of like you. I really like you. I'm going to try it on. If it doesn't fit, it'll go on Poshmark. Columbia doesn't do that well. If you've ever seen Columbia in the stores, like brand new, it's kind of expensive, but it doesn't resell for that much money. So Poshmark, if it doesn't fit me, or Sister. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I mean, it'll probably be Poshmark, right? Right. I do need to find bigger sizes for my Poshmark closet. I noticed the other day when I was kind of scrolling through it, I have a lot of smaller sizes and not a lot of bigger sizes, so I need to work on that. Um, next is this headband. I picked it up from the bins originally. I looked up the tag and I don't think it was, but doesn't this remind you of the brand Desigual? That totally gave me vibes of it, but it's like this hippie boho headband. I think it's really cute. It's gonna go on Poshmark. This is pretty crazy that this is in my death pile. When I originally found it at the bins, I I knew, I saw the material and the, the design on it and I was thinking, that's a good piece. That's like a good quality piece. So me and this girl were eyeballing it and I like grabbed it and I just, I snatched it. We both went for it. I was just faster and stronger, obviously. Look at that, gold, <laughs> gold gym. Um, but I picked it up and I got it and I looked at the comps when I was at my cart and it was actually really good. It is Magnolia Pearl, beautifully worn or beautiful wear. Oh my gosh. Reading skills, skills, <laughs> reading skills are on point. Um, here's the tag. And I also saw the tag and I was like, yeah, this is money. So there's the tag. And I think I looked up the comms and at the time they were like over $200 sold. So I'm not sure if that's still the case because that was a long time ago. <clears throat> but they're these really cute pants with the ruffle on the end. And here at the bottom, two last things. It's more Vera Bradley. But there's this blue and brown one. And then the next one is a different style. And it's a brown and pink one. I think both of them, because of the brown, are like perfect for fall and autumn. Maybe I should put all the Vera Bradley. Maybe I'll do a lot. Should I do a lot? Let's do that. We're gonna make it worth it. I'm taking this back out of here. <laughs> back into my death pile. Just kidding. Um, I'm gonna lot all of the Vera Bradley stuff together. I think that's the way to go. Next step, I am going to measure all of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put dates of when I list stuff so that you guys can see how long it takes to sell. I'll keep you guys updated on the death pile sales so that you can see how it's going. But yeah, thank you for sitting with me. If you've made it this far, thank you for looking at my death pile with me. I appreciate it. I'm hoping this keeps me motivated to get it listed. I wish that I could photograph it all right now and get it all done with for the day, but it is, it's almost 5.30 right now and it's Colorado and it's daylight savings. The sun's not out. I need a little help. Yes, I have the light kit that's blinding everybody in my glasses, but it's just not enough light. 
I like a little, no, I like a lot of natural light when I take my photos. It kind of helps with, um, is this the accurate color question that you get? Yes, yes it is the natural, actual color. Uh, tomorrow we will photograph it and tomorrow hopefully I will film another video. Hopefully I will get all of this done that I can film another video and we will go through another tote and we're just going to keep going through them until it's all done. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this video. If you saw anything you're interested in, it will be listed shortly in my closet at Bella Milky. <laughs> Link down below. Um, also follow me on Instagram. It's a, my personal page, a little bit of everything. Also link down below are channels that I enjoy binge watching. There are my best friends of the internet. There is Lynn from Here's Lynn. <laughs> Lynn from Here's Lynn. Kimmy at One Thread at a Time, Candice at Your Best You, Kaya at Kaya EV, and Allison at Thrifted Flipping. They will all be linked down below. Also linked down below are other YouTubers that I enjoy binge watching. Obviously these ladies, I stalk like crazy and I watch all their videos and I watch their old videos because I'm creepy Valerie. Also linked down below are other channels I enjoy binge watching. There's Josh, Will, and Justin. They're all linked down below. Also linked down below is a whole list. It's like this long of automotive people that I enjoy watching. Chad is an automotive channel. He's my favorite YouTuber in the whole wide YouTube -y world. But yeah, that is it for today. Hopefully I will see you guys very, very soon with the next bucket of clothes to go through. Death to the death pile, right? Kill it. Let's kill it, get it done, get it listed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.